Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Testers. In this, we are going to discuss test cases for a card API. We have multiple card API like a create card, get card, update card, and delete cards. We'll discuss how we are going to write a test cases for all these APIs. Without any ado, let's get started. And before moving forward, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe Fundu Testers. Camera rolling action. First of all, we'll discuss a create card API. So for this, how we can write a test cases. So I'm going to Excel sheet and here for a create card, I have written a test cases in terms of a positive test cases, negative test cases and edge cases. And apart from that, I have written test cases for a response body as well. So how we can test a response body. Uh, so let's start with a positive one. So for a first one is a create card with a valid data. So here this we have already executed many times. Uh, like we have to provide all the valid data uh, in a request body and apart from as well as the valid key and valid token we should be able to create a card and then create a card with a minimum data so for example let's say we have to create a card and then this much information we are adding do you remember email id board checklist and all these things we have to mention as a create card information so we have to make sure that with a minimum and with a maximum number of uh, key value pairs we should be able to create a card for here we have a id card and name those are a basic information so without that create card shouldn't be allowed and now the create card with a maximum length of a name and description so here uh, for example for a minimum field we have to pick like id card and name and then we have to pass a maximum number of a character and then we have to make sure that we should be able to create a card or not and then create a card with a special character so this again based on the business requirement if you what data you are going to create based on that uh, there should be allowed to create a data or not for example let's say you are creating a, your facebook profile and with a name you shouldn't be allowed to add a special character but if you are commenting something you're creating a that is that means you are that means you are creating a comment so in comment you can add whatever you wanted to add so you need to take decision accordingly and for a negative test cases we are going to test invalid key invalid token missing key and missing tokens here we will pass invalid key then missing key and then uh, invalid token and missing token and we are going to make sure that create card shouldn't be allowed and then we are going to create a card with an invalid uh, card id so here for example I am removing one character and then we will try to create a card. So this shouldn't be allowed and for an invalid scenario, there has to be a proper error messages. So here we can see invalid value for ID list, which means it is saying invalid value of our ID list and that is not allowed. And then create card with a missing or required, required field. So for example, let's say I am removing a name and then try to create a card. Then it is creating and it is taking a default name default name is an empty string so here again we have to make sure that if the field is not present then what is the default value of that particular field if we have to pass this many fields to create a card and those fields we are not passing then based on the data type so here it is saying email is null do you reminder is a null do you is a null and then a uh, couple of things they are considering as an empty uh, empty array so we have to make sure this is the based on the requirement if you are not passing a data then this has to be default data if i'm passing a name for example let's, let's say i'm passing a name as a checklist card then it should get updated as a checklist card so this is these things you need to take care fill is mandatory yes or no if it is not mandatory then what is the default value of that field next is a edge cases so for edge cases we are creating a card with empty name so empty name we have seen we are removing a key itself name it is taking a data and it is creating a card with a empty name value and then uh, create a card with a very long name so here we have to uh, pass long string and then may, uh, we need to make sure that it is allowing or not uh, then create a card with invalid uh, characters in name so for example let's say i'm passing some invalid character like this i am passing some data uh, which is being used as a programming language so this so if i'm passing this invalid value for a name so it is not capturing because this is a programming syntax programming term so that's why it is not accepting the data but instead uh, for example let's say i will remove this slash then it will consider see now it is considered as a u4000 so you have to understand what are the predefined words of any programming language or a json or xml and those words you need to try ascii value you need to try 
special character all these things you need to try with a mandatory fields and then you have to make sure that those data shouldn't accept or should accept based on the requirement now create a card with a json ex uh, injection so again here what i am doing with a description i am passing a dummy json data as a standard json body i have to pass a string but instead of that i am passing some uh, json data so for example here i am passing uh, this level of data like this i am passing a data and then i am trying to select so it is saying invalid value for a description because description always expect string data but instead of that i am passing a uh, json data so such kind of scenarios you have to make sure that it is working based on the schema for request body there is to be a schema for response body there is to be a schema so there shouldn't be any violation in the rules and to test the request body now create card response we have positive test cases so for verify the structure of a, a response body i am creating a card with a valid data here then we have to make sure that this response is based on the schema so this is standard format architecture is decided based on that all the field has to be there and data type also should get matched for example id i am getting a string data for a external source i am getting a null data for this i am getting a boolean so it has to be based on the standard or based on the architecture and schema otherwise we have to we can state forward mark that test as a fail if i am getting a false in double quote for example this data is in double quote then that is considered as a string instead of a boolean data so this i can mark as a fail and then verify id card so id card has to be correct uh, for a create card and we have to make sure that using this id we are able to get a data or not if a card is getting created but this id is invalid then we cannot use further with the next API. So we have to make sure that this ID is correct by checking in a database or by making another API call like a get or update API. And then verify the ID board and ID list details. So we here we have passed ID list details. So with a response, it has to be the same data and invalid data type for negative scenario invalid data type and missing required field. So here I'm passing some required other field like a email ID or this information are a non-mandatory field but still I am passing with a request body then it has to be reflect with a response otherwise there has to be a default data so that we have to make sure if I am passing a data then those are reflecting with a response body if I am not passing those data then there uh, for those value there has to be default data and then large input value so if we are passing a large data with a creating card if it is matching with a requirement then it is it should allow to create otherwise it should reject now we have get card api so for a get card we are simply passing a card id and then key and token and based on that we are fetching a card detail so according to that i have written a some couple of test cases like a positive scenarios valid key valid token and valid card id these three parameter we have to pass uh, valid data and then we should be able to get the card if i'm hitting this request then we are getting a card information and then valid uh, token also headers also we have to make sure if there are more data with a uh, headers of any api then we have to make sure we are testing all those fields as well and then valid card fields uh, this information is valid or not so for example from a post api i have provided some information so here also all the information should be as it is and then verify the key and token and spe with specific fields uh, now for a negative scenarios we have uh, this invalid uh, key invalid token missing key missing token and then uh, we are having a malformed url so in previous sessions we have discussed we have added a random characters with the url and then we are getting a malformed url uh, error so similar way we have to test for each and every api invalid except uh, uh, header like a uh, standard mime type is uh, for this api is a except uh, content type dot json then it should accept only content type dot json if i'm passing content type slash xml then it should fail and is cases like a search characters uh, special character in a card name if i have created some uh, card with a special character then get also I'm, i should get a special character sometimes what happened developers are sanitizing the data to avoid backend errors so for example let's say i have created a card nissan space gohel so sometimes what they will do they will in uh, ni after nissan then go between nissan and gohel there is a white space so they will either remove the white space or either they will add a hyphen or something like that to sanitize uh, words 
in many cases so but this data is for ui and it should be reflected on a ui as it is so even if though if they are sanitizing the data removing extra or dummy character on a ui they should again put back the same character so i have to make sure that they are not sanitizing data for such scenarios and uh, try to get deleted card so if card is deleted and then i'm passing a card id then it should fail and then soft deleted and hard deleted so uh, for this activity on a ui we can only do the soft delete means archive the card so if i'm archiving a card then i'm deleting for it will be get it will get deleted for end user but data has to be there on a server but using the delete api if i delete the card then it will permanently delete it so we have to make sure it is a hard delete data or a soft delete data for create card response i have written couple of test cases but uh, furthermore api i have not written the test cases so those are for a homework i hope you will do you have to uh, basically apply the similar check and you have to make sure that you are getting appropriate data or not and then we have update card api so for update card let me open the update card api and here we are updating the information based on that whatever information we have created so in general what we have to do consider that out of 10 values we are allowed to update only 8 values 2 values we are not able to update so such a way that we have to make sure that from an update request we should be able to those 8 value and here we are passing a request body card id key and token so based on that i have written the test cases so uh, valid update request means we have to provide valid information and we need to make a update request uh, update only name so for example let's say we wanted to update minimum data like one or two parameter uh, those should work so similar way for each and every parameter you have to write a single single test or uh, in a one test you can update all the 10 parameters and you can make sure and in uh, for a negative scenarios i have passed invalid key invalid token missing key missing token invalid card id so if i'm passing a here invalid card id then server will know will not know what is a card id so it will state forward reject the data and missing a name and description so if i'm trying to place a update request but i'm not passing any data then it will pass or fail and then invalid data type empty name uh, this name i'm removing so for a create we have we check it is considered the default name which is a, a blank string so similar way this validation has to be there for a update request as well and empty description and try to update deleted card so if card is deleted then what will happen if i try to update and for delete api for a positive scenario i have written a verify with valid key and token that should work so i'm going to the delete card api and if i'm passing all the valid data it is saying a card got deleted and then verify the card deletion so card is no longer available so once i'll delete the card and then again i'm trying to delete the card then it is saying the requested resource was not found because that card is already deleted so we have to make sure the data we are trying to delete is after one request it is deleted and then uh, negative scenarios like a uh, similar i have written negative key token and all this stuff and apart from an invalid card id so if i'm passing an invalid card id then server will reject the data and mark from the url again command for apis and then non-existent card so card is never created like a dummy data i'm passing and already deleted card so if a card is already deleted then here we will get a request resource was not found and uh, edge cases like an inverted character in a card id card belonging to some other user so this is very important so i'm passing a valid card id but card is not belongs to me it is belongs to you so server has this uh, that data but this particular key and token does not cannot access that card so that's why even after passing all the valid data that card is not belongs to me then it should get deleted i should get a proper message and then deleting card with active attachments and comments so this is the very important test for all the delete related api uh, let's say you're working on a bank api and you are trying to delete bank account but what happens uh, in reality let's say in your bank account there is some loan or some credit amount is pen, uh, is there so you have to withdraw all the amount and then you have to close your all the loans due diligence and then only you should be able to delete the uh, bank account or close that bank account similar way if there are some the rules uh, for example any tasks are open for a particular card then it shouldn't get allowed to delete otherwise what happened let's say my manager has created a task for me they have assigned some work to me and there are uh, 
ट्वेंटी टीम मेम्बर्स इन माई टीम सो मैनेजर विल नॉट नो आफ्टर ए वीक वो टास्क ये इज असाइन टू एवरी वन सो वो लाइक सम फेल हो इट विल दे विल सिंपली डिलीट द टास्क एंड दे विल से आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माई वर्क सो बेस्ड ऑन द परमिशन एंड बेस्ड ऑन द ओपन वर्क और ओपन एक्टिविटीज डिलीट ऑपरेशन शुड वर्क सो वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट इफ वी आर वर्किंग एनी If you are testing any delete API, this scenario we have to consider. This the very very important scenario, and no access to delete. So similar as I explained, my manager has assigned a card, and I am going to delete that card. So that shouldn't allowed because uh, for uh, some user only will have a delete or a edit kind of access. So in reality, uh, many people will have only read only access. So they will view the data, but they will not create data. They will not update. data or they will not able to delete the data or for some person they will have a like a create and get data but they won't be able to update the data so there be, there has to be a workflow for each and every application in in many applications for us different types of a user so this is how we have to write we have to keep in a mind generic scenarios and based on that we have to write a test cases in reality what happens once developer will build the apis then they will share a, maybe swagger or api requirements or api documentation or postman collection with a, a test team and then they will explain how this api works tester will initially execute the api in a postman uh, manually and once they are able to understand the api flow what are the required field what are the mandatory fields and then they on, they only going to start writing a test cases so similar things we are following we have first understood the api and then we have executed the api so in between we have added basic test and then we are now we are writing a test cases so once test cases write test case writings are done then we have to add couple of more uh, test script so this is in general end to end flow i hope this is clear and uh, this excel sheet details you will find in a description section so you go to the description and you can uh, i'll give you a read only access so you can view this you can basically read all these test cases and try to execute these test cases and let me know if you are facing any issues in a comment section i'll be happy to help and uh, at last i'm spending it too much time to explaining the stuff so i request you to like and share this videos and don't forget to subscribe fundu test so thank you so much